going on, Sam Rice, and welcome to today's video. I am Sam, and today I want to answer a question I got from you guys, the Samurais, and that was on my last video. I showed you guys how to make a mask inside of Photoshop that we could bring into Final Cut Pro to remove something like this exit sign. But a lot of you guys wanted to know how we can actually mask right inside of Final Cut Pro, and that's what I'm planning on showing you today. But first, I want to explain to you why I chose to use the Photoshop technique. So right here in this video, we kind of have the perfect conditions uh, for masking inside of Final Cut Pro. One, the camera is not moving. Um, the texture on the wall is very flat. It's one like basic solid color paint. There's no gradient. There's no texture. There's no pattern. There's nothing like that. We don't have any objects moving in front of our subject. So if we ran into something that was much more textured, so maybe like in this window area or back here where the sign is and we needed to remove an object from that, using the Photoshop technique works much better because I can use all the Photoshop tools to create a more perfect looking patch. I can blend it. I can reproduce uh, images and objects and patterns and textures much better inside of Photoshop than I can inside of Final Cut Pro X. So that is why I like using the Photoshop technique over the Final Cut masking tools because I just have much more control of the final product. But today I'm going to show you guys how to mask out this exit sign using Final Cut. Alrighty, Sam Rice, let me show you how to mask an object inside of Final Cut Pro X. So the first thing we need to do is duplicate our layer. So we're going to come down to our layer. We're going to click Option, and we're just going to drag straight up. And then we're going to knock out the audio by clicking on the audio bar and dragging it down. Once that's done, we're going to come over to the Draw Mask option inside of our effects. And we're going to drag that onto our duplicated layer. Then we're going to come right up to the top and we're going to draw an outline around our exit sign just like so using the little pen tool. Now that that's done we're going to come over to the uh, effects control tab and we're going to just feather it just a little bit. Then we're going to come right back over to where we just drew our mask and we're going to click in the middle we're going to drag it over to a clear patch of the wall, so right there. Now we need to go back over into our control panel and find position. And then we're going to use our position tool to move the mask back over top of the exit sign like so. Now when I come down here and I click off of that layer, you can see that our exit sign has now vanished. All right, Sam Rice, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. If you like today's video and you want to see more content just like this, make sure you go down and click that subscribe button. We would love to have you as part of the familia. And until next time, remember to dream big, think bigger, and always be you. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.